Hey guys, how are you? I'm Jay, and today we're going to go ahead and look at this damn handsome Benchmade Grizzly Ridge, model number 15061. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some of the features, and then we'll talk about what I like about this knife and some of the potential deal breakers. Now guys, don't go away. You will want to stay to the end because I'll display the full specs on the screen for you. Now if you're thinking to yourself, man, this knife really looks familiar. Well, it should because it's a lighter version of the Grizzly Creek, uh, both also from the Hunt series as well. But today we're only talking about the Grizzly Ridge, which happens to be, it is a manual action axis lock, of course. Uh, blades riding on bronze washers. Deployment can be done either with these orange thumb studs or of course by just actuating the axis lock itself. Now there is an external stop pin, however it is adjustable. The blade's about three and a half inches long and that's 3.12 millimeters thick and that is good old reliable CPM S30V. Four and a quarter inches is the length of this handle which gives the Grizzly Ridge an impressive, I mean very impressive, uh, blade to handle ratio. Thickness is going to be a little over half inch and that's 0.58 and the closed width, so how much room in your pocket that this is going to occupy? Only 1.26 inches. Now if we flip her over and look at the back side you can see it is all open construction with just the two orange barrel spacers. I'm going to go ahead guys and grab the scale. Let's see how much this is going to weigh you down. All right, you guys ready for this? Let's see. Well, impressive. 3.7 ounces, or roughly the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five. Five AA batteries, or one paramilitary two. Or one full-size freak and part of the reason that they're able to keep that weight down I don't know if you guys can see this but on the inside yep they extensively skeletonized uh, both steel liners all right why don't we go ahead and just do that knife comparison right here and we'll start with another Benchmade from the Hunt series as well, the Crooked River Mini. And how about one Endura 4? Or, as long as I have this guy out, the Para 2. And let's do one more. The Manix 2. Now the, uh, the blade on this, it is a flat ground drop point and you can see it is a recurve edge with a really nice stone wash finish and I I do for the most part I do like the the choices of color here Benchmade's calling the this gray but it has a little bit of a green tint to it and of course the orange grivery and I'm sorry the gray is the uh, Versaflex all right, what do you say, guys, we go ahead and uh, just talk about what I really like about this Grizzly Ridge. And I'm going to start with the handle. I am really happy that the Versaflex does not have any grooves in it, unlike the, you can see the full-size Freak here. So, I mean, that just, it traps, well, a lot of crud. So. I like that they did not put the same grooves. As you might have guessed, the action on this is so, so good. I mean, it was falling shut right out of the box. Centering, dead on. I mean, 
the action really does make this super fidget friendly. I have a hard time putting this guy down. And I also appreciate that Benchmade went ahead and used the full steel liners because the other VersaFlex knife that they offer, the Freak, does not have full steel liners. So just adds a little bit more to the durability of it. Now that VersaFlex and uh, Grivery really do make for a super comfortable grip with just phenomenal traction. Maybe a little too much. There is uh, just, just two areas of jimping and they are both on the spine and the blade, right here by the pivot, and then of course out towards the tip. The balance is, I believe, oh yeah, exactly where it should be. And they did give us a sharpening choil, which, oh, that looks really good. They did a good, an excellent job with the sharpening choil. And the last thing that I like about this is the, well, the price. It's at about $123, which, you know what? To be honest, that's not too bad considering that the Grizzly Creek is at about 175 and the Freak is, I believe I've seen it for as much as about 128 So I, I really don't have a problem with the $123 price tag because you're, you're getting a lot, I feel, for your money especially these steel liners. Oh, I just love those. Now, unfortunately, guys, we do have to talk about some of the potential deal breakers. And the first one that I'm gonna point out is the, the studs for the Axis Lock. They seem to be just a hair too short because on the Grizzly Creek, I'm able to actuate the access lock, I mean, no problem. But with this guy, I kinda gotta feel around for a second and I go, oh, okay, there it is. And then, so it's it's almost as if the, the studs are just a hair shorter than the Grizzly Creek. Also, I would have liked to have seen you know, th these uh, studs also, if they were black, I just think that that would really round out the appearance of this, the pocket clip. Well, I'm sure you saw this coming. Yep, it's the split arrow, which not a fan of, but at least they did make it this for uh, lefties and righties alike. So that's great. Just gonna be tip up only on this guy. Another deal breaker potentially could be the handle thickness at uh, 0.58. That that could be a bit much for some, uh, for an everyday carry. It doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest. Now, those of you that, that do actually own the Freak are well aware of this next potential issue and that is going to be well putting it in and out of your pocket yeah i mean this rubbery versaflex it does it just it it catches on your pants material so maybe i don't know maybe it'll get better but so far yeah it's it's really tough to i have again i have to think about it when i'm about to put it back in my pocket because of this uh lighter shade of gray, I've noticed that dirt is showing up pretty, pretty quick. I've already had to wipe this off a few times, so that could potentially be an issue for you. And the last potential deal breaker, and this is a big one for some of you, it would be the recurve, recurve edge. I know, you know, some have a hard time sharpening it. It doesn't bother me, to be honest, at all. I don't mind a recurve. Now, some of you might be wondering what has me so pissed off about this knife. And let me see if I can show you guys. And I, I apologize if it's not focusing. I'm trying. But yeah, it is a first production 
run, which I was excited when I first took it out of the box, but then I thought about it for a second and I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna carry this thing because now I have it in my head that this is special. I know it's silly, but you know what? I also, I collect comic books, so, and I'm really, really careful with those. So I just have that kind of mentality that's, when it's a variant of any kind, I just think it's gonna eventually be worth money someday. So maybe in about 75 years this might be, but I know it's ridiculous. Just how I am. So where does that, uh, where does that leave us with the Grizzly Ridge? Well, if you don't already own the Grizzly Creek, then I would say, heck yeah, get it. Because it has good steel, great action. You know, the full steel liners are gonna provide that, that strength that maybe the Freak might not have. I mean, if you drop if you drop this on a hard surface, the Versaflex should be able to withstand it. So I really like this. I I do. It's it's a great user that can be carried every day. Now, guys, don't go away because I'm about to show you the specs on the screen. Stick around for those. But first, I just want to thank you guys stopping by. I will see you at the next video. Hey, you guys take care. See ya. I want to remind you guys to please click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point.